In this video, I'll be talking about de novo, purine and pyrimidine synthesis. This is from page 69, first day 2012. I'll be following the pattern, but not exactly the steps. I'll add a lot more steps to the diagram. Um, and this is only de novo, purine and pyrimidine synthesis. That means it's starting from scratch, uh, not not all purine and the pyrimidines are made from scratch, right? We recycle a lot of them through, and that's called the salvage pathway. That's a separate video. But in this video, I'll be only talking about de novo, purine, and pyrimidine synthesis. So let's get right into it. So first of all, what are the purines? Purines are adenine and guanine, okay? And pyrimidines, pyrimidines are thymine and cytosine. So both purine and pyrimidines, both purine and pyrimidines can be made from a substance called PRPP. PRPP stands for phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate. Now PR, from PRPP, both purine and pyrimidine are being made. If we are making Purine, from PRPP, we are going to make IMP. From IMP, we are going to be making GMP. And we'll be making AMP from PRPP. If we go in the pyrimidine direction, from PRPP, we get UMP. From UMP, we make UDP. UDP makes two substances. DUDP and CTP. DUDP is further broken down to DUMP and DTMP. So that is our um, that is our pyrimidine synthesis. Now this is a quick, quick, quick uh, summary of how purine and pyrimidine are both coming from PRPP. Now let's get a little bit more detail into it. So first of all, I'll be talking about the purine synthesis. Now, I'll draw the purine synthesis here so that you can compare this with the generalized diagram. So we said that we first start off with PRPP. Now, PRPP, how can we make PRPP? We make PRPP from ribose 5-phosphate using the enzyme PRPP synthetase. So here we get ribose 5-phosphate makes PRPP Give, uh, using the enzyme PRPP synthetase. This step is inhibited by other substances and I will talk about that later. Let's keep moving. From PRPP, we make a substance called 5-phosphoribosylamine. And we make 5-phosphoribosylamine from PRPP using the enzyme PRPP amidotransfer. So from 5-phosphoribosylamine, we go through a couple of steps, which we might not have to remember at this stage, and we make our generalized product, which is our IMP. So all this was skipped in this picture, which we kind of have to know. They're kind of important. So from 5-phosphoribosylamine, we make IMP. But what is important to know here is that in these steps, we use amino acids such as glycine, aspartate, and glutamate. You can use the mnemonic GAG to remember it. And we also use thymine as a carbon donor. So GAG, glycine, aspartate, glutamate, and thymine as carbon donor is used from 5-phosphoribosylamine to IMP. From IMP, we get GMP and AMP. And we also use glutamine to make GMP in this step. And we use aspartate to make AMP. At this step. Now it's easy to remember because glutamine starts with G and GMP and aspartate starts with A and AMP. So this is how we get our um, guanine and adenosine from the purine synthesis. Now this is not all though. We have to know a couple of more things here. Um, what we have to know is that this step, the PRPP uh, amidotransferase step. This step is inhibited by quite a few things. This step is inhibited by, hmm, I wonder, is GMP going to stop this step? Maybe. 
GMP can stop this step. What about AMP? Sure, AMP can stop this step too. So this step would be the rate limiting step for purine synthesis. So GMP and AMP is both going to inhibit this step. In fact, IMP is also going to inhibit the PRPP emitter transfer step from PRPP to 5-phosphoribosilamine. Okay, so what about drugs? What drugs is going to inhibit 5-phosphoribosilamine? PRPP, sorry. What drug is going to inhibit PRPP emitter transferase? Uh, the drugs that's going to inhibit this step is allopurinol and 6 marcaptopurine So all these products are going to inhibit our PRPP amido transferase. Okay, so that would be the end of purine synthesis. Now let's talk about pyrimidine synthesis.